Hey everybody, welcome to the Best Family Homestead. Uh, we are not at the homestead today. I'm here with my dad, and I am up in the mountains of North Carolina at, I guess you'd say, the Best Family Farm. Because uh, yeah. this is this is my dad's farm. Uh, this is old family, uh, old family farm. Span all the way around and say, ever yep. tell them everything that you see from where we're standing was given as a land grant right after the Revolutionary War. Yeah, I was I was the ninth generation uh, to be raised on this farm. Uh, so most uh, most of my life I was raised on the farm anyway. And the old farmhouse that was built in what 18 1903. Now it's not the original house that with the with the land uh, the cabins. Some of the original cabins are still standing around. The original here. cabins are standing right down the road. Uh, we'll at, go down when was right that here. built? That in was 1840s. And that barn, that big barn down there was built 1923. So that barn down there was built in 1923. That, that's the oldest structure on this part, right? Yeah, it's built in 1896. All right, so that barn was built in 1896. It was built for a flu cured tobacco barn. They tried flu cured tobacco, but it didn't work out real good. Okay. They did uh, barley after that. The shed on it was where we used to hang barley tobacco. Yeah, I'm gonna take y'all up up to the shed there in a minute and get you a better shot of boozum and, and show you our boozum we got. And I'll tell you what boozum is. Over there's the beehives. Where well, I've just got one for now. I'm a beginning beekeeper and this is just a big experiment for me, but I really hope it works because with the bees, you get better pollination in your garden. We don't do a whole lot of commercial growing. We just kind of grow what we eat. And uh, the plans are to try to start propagating maybe rhododendrons and elderberry, elderberries and stuff like that. So this is the big barn. What is that barn? About 75 by 75, something like that? Yeah, it's pretty good size. And it's a long way up to the tip top. And the weather vane up there. Is original to the barn. So that, that weather vane is over a hundred years old. Close to a hundred, sure enough. Either. So this is water on the other side. That first spring we looked at is over there. And this is just on the other side of the barn. This barn was built in the swamp. So you can see there's a, a lot of water. A lot of water. This, this place never really dries out all the way. This is the back side of the big barn. And my mother showed up. She had an appointment this morning, so she's back here. And you uh, see I've said it a couple times now, but you see right here's my genetics for all that stuff, right? Right here's my genetics for all the critters. Well, the cows are his, but all the other critters. So I was, uh, I was doomed from the beginning, I guess. It's too safe to mow, so you gotta have something to eat to all the grass. Well, that's why I got the goats. Now, those, those are my dad's, not rescues, but those are my dad's animals. And that is Iggy. The big red one is Iggy. And he is a 1,200 pound puppy. So you gotta be kind of careful around him. He's a little... Does he weigh that much now? He probably weighs 12 or 1,300 pounds. He's a, he's a big boy and he wants to try and get in your lap just playing. That's a lot of hamburgers <laughs> right there. <laughs> See, we're coming up on the other tobacco barn that doubles as a uh, feeding uh, feeding area for the cattle in the winter. You can see there in between, you put the. No, I don't have an apple today. The you round bale. What you doing, huh? Oh, I scared her. He usually just walks up and pets them all. They don't know me, so I make them a little skittish. 
I don't have to worry What's about up, him going anywhere. No. You must have fed him pretty recently because usually they come running. I'll show you before you leave. We'll catch them way off and you can film them coming in when I call them. Because they will come. Yeah. What you doing? A little bull with a white spot on his nose right there. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to yell, Mom. Okay, that's fine. What are you looking for the little bull? That's a little bull cave. That's spot I'm gonna keep him to replace Iggy with. This this one with half a crown of white over here is Willow. She's the one that Michaela uh, named. That's Willow. The girl behind her is Ruby Lee, the one that's named after my mom. And if this one is, this rose bud, if this one down here is 504, her name is Mama Bill. <laughs> Even the cows have names. Yeah, your mama named the cows. I number them. <laughs> <laughs> they're waiting for a treat. Yes, they are. They don't. They know. They're. They're not done. Right. You don't have no treat. Big, big babies is all these are. But most all these are our mama, so they'll they'll be kept around. Regulate the only if they have one we've got. That's, she's bred probably, but this will be her first child. What are you doing, Iggy? <laughs> you don't get fed bananas no more, huh? My mom went to feed him a banana when he was little. They fed him bananas, he got used to coming and then uh, coming over to the fence. And then he got excited one day, probably about eight or 900 pounds later and uh, almost didn't stop at the fence. And that's when my mother being the animal lover she is realized maybe a bull is not the best lap dog no, to have. Dead. This one's Mama Bill. That's Ruby Lee's mama. Yo, mama. Hey, darling. Hey, darling. You need some. That's your brother's cow. Told you guys I'd introduce you to Bujan. Uh, Bujan is the native Cherokee uh, term for Bigfoot because there is Bigfoot and Sasquatch in almost every culture. And here, made me that for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I made I made uh I made dad that and fitting in with my Southern Copper Chronicles channel and, and everything. Well Boozum's got his uh bottle of bottle of white lightning he's coming down from the mountains up there somewhere with. Uh but that thing's scared quite a few people. <laughs> it uh it scared I know my mom and dad and the very first night I cut him when I was in the shop. I almost shot him because I forgot I leaned him against the wall and I thought somebody had snuck in the powder coating shop. There's a lot of people stop on the road and get out and come over here and take pictures with him, which is fine. <laughs> yep, that's boozing. And then a lot of the stuff that, uh, the gardening stuff, I'll be, well, down at my place too and have mom come down, I'll be coming up here to go over a lot of the homesteading stuff. This is the garden from last year. Uh, but we're gonna be doing a lot more raised bed stuff and uh, small micro, getting the most uh, yield per square foot. Basically uh, sustainable farming. You can talk. I don't want to. You can talk. <laughs> I don't want to. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be getting her in every video that I can. This type of gardening up here. They, uh, they, they, my grandmother passed away last year or earlier this year. And so mom and dad moved from the smaller house up to the big house. And you can see that kind of got in the way. Right of, in the middle of gardening. <laughs> right, in the, right in the middle of gardening season. So. Oh, they're sad. Those will be, some of them will be rescued for seeds, but that's it. We're going to rescue everything we can for seeds shortly. It won't be some spring. 
and y'all have seen all my sawmill videos it's actually his sawmill i'm just uh getting the benefits of him having it and not cutting right now he uh he just got through beating prostate cancer so we're lucky to have him still around here with us and he's doing better getting healed up and i'm gonna lose my bright shiny orange toy <laughs> this way talking about me and my maybe uh odd love for animals so my sister was in this room with her cats and they have you know too many dogs too and my mom built this but had a walkway up to the window so they the left the window, window open window. so they had a cat door so the cats could get out so like i said uh, it, i come by honestly all right guys so this is the spring house how long has this this uh this spring been in use here well i always heard stories about an indian camp being here and they used the spring here give me the light all right so we just got in here i'm fussing at my dad to quiet him down now there's one surefire way i just saw him one way you know it's clean water besides just salamanders let me in there i just saw there he is. Oh, so oh, you just saw him swim up in there he just went outside the water we get and the house over there is what I like to tell people is straight off of a lizard's back because this thing is full of salamanders that's, and crawfish. Uh, that's why I just tried to videotape. There's a hellbender in here. Yeah. I don't know how a hellbender got in here, but there's a mud puppy in here. There's all kinds of mud puppies. A, hell, a hellbender is actually a amphibian. They, they can breathe somewhat out of. But this. He's in the air. If you come over here, you'll see him. It's, it's, it's very oh, there's another one over there. This water comes right straight up out of white fell spar rock. And it never changes, wet or dry. The volume of this spring never changes. So I don't know where it comes off of the aquifer at. But I may really need to get oh. it cleaned out. No, that's not. You told me about that. That's just a rock. The mud puppy I just saw went the hellbender. It's over the he went. He went that way. But that is some very clear, very cold, very good water. And it has been in use on this uh on this property what is probably 1840s and then like dad was saying uh they said it, there used to be a cherokee indian camp here uh that they use so i don't this, reckon i've ever seen this spring ever even start to run dry it never changes uh my dad and i built this reservoir and built this new tank probably when I was about 15 years old. So 45 years ago, it was laid up like this in the house and then they built the roof and stuff over it. Here, Mom. Probably uh, 25 or 30 years ago. Hold that, Mom. So funny story, I guess I was about 10. No, I was older than that. I was about 14. We were cleaning this thing out and this was before the top was on it. It just was just the rock. And dad's a big, he's a big guy. And he hops down in here and he came out of here almost without touching the wall. Also, he comes up and over hollering like, whoa, what? there's a copperhead about two and a half, three foot long. And he jumped right down on it and then jumped right back out. I still remember that very vividly. It did not take <laughs> me on to vacate the spring. <laughs> and it was shortly after that, that the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the top got built. <laughs> Such a good girl. 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 In 1903, you built out of what you had available. They just set up wooden blocks on a rock, 
the I'm block, the block is all new down here in the basement. We're in the basement of the uh, the old farmhouse. This is a hand dug basement. My dad dug this basement by hand. So, and we have can shelves and. Got old set of scales that's pretty cool over here <clears throat> and hand trucks and the anvil that he doesn't know yet but it's coming back to the uh, homestead <laughs> he can't hear me that's why i said it <laughs> you didn't hear me did you dad oh. <laughs> no the anvil's not going anywhere <laughs> see he just pretends he can't hear I'm sure it probably still is pretty it is close. Pretty close. How this is what they call a two pound scale. And I'll show you why in just a minute. How old is it? I'd say it's from a turn of the life century, 1900. Well, it's a little off, I think. All right, we're inside the old farmhouse. Most of the, uh, most old house has been modernized and renovated. My grandmother did that. Uh, this is one of the last, or one of the only like untouched uh, rooms in the in the old house. The old beadboard on the ceiling. These are these uh, door. When now that used to be a back porch back that there. That was a back porch. And these uh, are these, these are, are these original? No. <laughs> No, those patties, your grandpa Hannah brought them down for us to use in the house up on the hill. Okay. And we didn't use them, so mama used them. But the old porch used to go here. Right, I remember that. This house was weird because it was built kind of like that. Yeah. And when I was growing up in this house, you had to go outside to go from the front of the house to the back right. of the house. You had to go outside on a porch and in the other part of the house. But the old ice Chattanooga ice box is original to the house. That's the family ice box. Right. Of course, Aaron's advertisement for his other company is on top of the ice box. Well, the, is that built in original? That was originally built in. Daddy, it was just shelves on the top. My dad made the, dad made the doors because Mama wanted to display her carnival glass. Yeah, I remember the depression glass, the blue stuff. Huh? The blue depression glass. Yeah. Well, it was pink, wasn't it? The blue one. It was the iris pattern depression glass. My sister has it down there. This, I built this, I always wanted a Hoosier. But now this is not, this is, I made this, we found this in a junk store, the table, and I made this for the table. But when I grew up here, this was the only kitchen cabinet we had. We had a Hoosier. That was it. He had the flour bin over here and a cornmeal drawer now down that's there. that's the wormy chestnut. Like that is chestnut, yes. That's the chestnut, American chestnut. And it no longer <clears throat> exists. Reclaimed. We used to use it for book storage and that came out of that. supplies. That came out of the big barn, right? No, this came out of, the, the wood came out of the old house that Gerald's up here that we tore down. And, uh, but we had a wood cook stove. We had one of these. And we had the old cast iron sink like you've got in your house. Mm -hmm. That was it. That's all we had. <laughs> the refrigerator stood in the dining room back here. And uh, mom and daddy had cabinets. Uncle Jeter Davis, or Uncle Floyd Davis, made cabinets for the house. My grandmother's brother made cabinets for the house sometime in the late 60s, early 70s. And they put in a electric range and stuff to go with a wood cook stove but my mom always my mother after my dad passed my mother had everything remodeled and i'm going to remake the doors on the cabinets to match the more period correct now you said this uh mantle this mantle came out of the original uh saddler's house which has been removed and sitting down there and uh uh so this mantle is from around 1840 thereabouts. And when they moved the cabin, my mother wanted the mantle moved up here. So my dad and my uncle Roger, they moved the uh, mantle up here and put it on here. And uh, 
it was it was originally arched down and this was a board that went down but it's the, the fireplace was one of the shallow like yours one of the shallow cooking fireplaces and it was burned up at the bottom so my dad squared it up and got rid of the burn marks awesome. but that's hand carved i'm not sure what kind of wood it is but it's heavy that man weighs a hundred pounds i thought it was pine but when i picked it up it's not pine and this is the old family clock that clock has been on this mantle ever since i can remember it needs to be repaired and patty uses this for her art room patty aaron's mom's an artist and so we yeah. just put all her she displayed what work she could get in here yeah this is all my mom's paintings but well, we're going to do our best to make the house more period correct for 19 and 3. This is all local paintings of local scenery here in Western North Carolina. Well, there you go guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, tour of the Old Best Farm. Um, tomorrow will be going through the old big barn uh we're gonna go through that one and <clears throat> then uh, we're going to do another video here in a few minutes on another crazy rescue animal that the bests have and that is ryan gosling the crazy goose that looks in the window because he's mad he's not in the house all right guys well hope you enjoyed watching like uh subscribe and <clears throat> share and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.